normally we go to our gentlemen first. I think it's the ladies' first time so. on the couch. I, so. I added a lot of drama to that reading, but I still think I did not get to the level of drama that was behind closed doors. Absolutely not. There is some major shade. And as Harris and I have talked about, this is totally a generational issue. And what Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez has on her side is time. Um, but, you know, unfortunately for her, uh, her squad doesn't go much further than the blue district that they represent. Um, and for Nancy Pelosi, she's much more concerned with the moderates who made up the 2018 uh, midterm uh, majority for the Democrats. And so uh, we know that those midterm uh, Democrats who were elected, they're terribly scared of the Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez policies. I know this because I work for America Rising. We do opposition research. We do tracking. And whenever we follow these candidates and ask them about, about Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's policies, they run away from our cameras. Um, and so I think that, you know, while Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez has time, she's only ever going to be, uh, a tw you know, a 10-term congresswoman from a blue district, whereas Nancy Pelosi has a whole, you know, bunch of people to you crowd. Think, you think she's only ever going to